girl. Hey, so it's Ebony here, pronouns she, her, hers with, uh, you see her. Um, so I have to take Piccolo to the vet again. Uh, I feel like she has parasites or I, I don't know what's going on, but uh, yeah, we're going to the vet. So this is another vet visit vlog, number two. Excuse me, that was that was rude. But I don't I don't know what's wrong or I don't think it's anything like life threatening, so we're gonna go to the vet and find out. So let's go. Alright, so uh we're say this. Alright, so I'm strapped in. She's strapped in. So we're all strapped in, I'm about to head and out, and I'm already like three minutes late. So I'm gonna get driving. In the exam room, just waiting for the doctor. Let's hope it's nothing like really bad or serious. We'll see. We'll see. All right, so. The doctor said, I'm an idiot. I need to unlock. I didn't prepare for this. The vet said that she had a ringworm or she has one. Um, and he just gave me some medicine to give her. Uh, it was $65 um, to go. They still have her on her as a male. She gained a lot of weight. She's 240 grams and he said that's good. She's growing well. Um, I mean, I only paid $65, and, um, that means I paid for the physical exam, office visit. She got weighted. She had a fecal exam, and he gave me medicine. Um, the medicine is Panacure, P-A-N-A-C-U-R. Um, so that's what I have to give her. Not consecutively like before, um, with the Albon, but, uh, yeah. Um, a doctor, my doctor... Her vet is in Clifton. If you live in North Jersey, I go to Veterinary Healthcare Center Incorporated. So um, if you happen to live in North Jersey and you're looking for a vet that specializes in reptiles, he keeps trying to push these damn pellets. He's like, oh, are you feeding pellets? I'm like, no, he's like, oh, life is so much easier. And I'm like, yeah, but I, I just don't trust it. He said, yeah, you could just put them in a the thing and wet them and she'll be, and it's like easier and they'll eat them. She's getting really dark. He also said that, I was like, I mean, I was mostly concerned because she wasn't basking a lot. She wasn't eating um, as much. She would eat her bugs, clearly. So I was like, there can't be something wrong with her, her diet because she's eating her bugs. So it wasn't like she wasn't eating anything. And she would eat her greens randomly. Um, but I was like, I've been weaning her off of bugs since she's getting to be like 11, 12 months. So he's like, yeah, you can. That's when I was like, oh, are you feeding the pellets? So I was like, no, only like vegetables. I give her the bugs sort of like a treat now. Like she gets bugs maybe twice or three times, twice or thrice, thrice, three times a week. Um, and I haven't gotten crickets cause I just have not had time to go to PetSmart. Yeah. And I was also worried that the crickets might've given her a parasite or whatever. He said that she could have had it when I first took her to the vet. Um, and it just wasn't developed enough to be able to see the eggs or something, but you can see it now. There was also some red in her, um, waist. And he's, I was worried that it was blood, and then I was like, oh my god, what if it's like a sign that she might be at, like lay eggs soon or something? But he was like, it wasn't blood, it was just sort of like how she metabolized and digested whatever food she was eating. Um, and I could see him like doing all the examinations and stuff, so I trust that. I just really don't trust those pellets. Um, and then I had her on my chest when I was um, paying. And one of the other vet assistants, I guess is what you call them, she was like, oh yeah, that's Doc's fave. So I think he's the only vet that works here. Um, and he's doing a good job because I was seen very quickly. Well, when I got in the room, I wasn't in the room alone very quickly. Um, 
so you're not that sick you're okay and i did I'm, I'm going to move her into her bigger tank which i'm really excited about um but i was worried that moving her into a new environment would stress her out and if she was really sick i didn't want to stress her out on top of being really sick but he was like no she'll be fine um just give her that medicine and so uh this weekend just thanksgiving i'm going home for a, a few days and then i'm going to come back i don't want to be away from her too long if i was going to be away longer i would have to pack all her stuff and just bring her with me but we're not going to be away too long so when i come back i'm going to give her another dose of medicine and then i'm going to clean her new tank and temporarily move her in there i want to get some tile slabs from home depot um and get some more furniture but I, she'll be fine with what she has i just want to like zhuzh up the place um but i am thankful that it wasn't too expensive but i also um when we had to put our nine week old puppy um down because he had a heart deformity i applied for care credit because it was thousands of dollars um to be able to like take care of all this stuff or whatever um but i paid for her with the care credit card um and they my balance is like pretty high in my opinion i really don't know i'm still learning how to be an adult and what credit is and how to maintain and everything but um yeah i use that because you know being an adult i got my money's already spoken for with other bills so but I, I need to take care of her too so i have that care credit card to be able to take care of that um if you're um able enough or not able enough if you have the luxury of being able to apply for a care credit card, I would suggest doing so, especially if you live like in an area where I live where you probably won't be able to find a um, reptile vet close enough. Like I have to drive 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, depending on traffic um, to get here. Um, and there weren't too many that popped up. And with he's owned, owned bearded dragons too, and he currently owns them. I don't agree with the pellet thing, but he owns them. So, and he's also a vet. So I trust a lot of his information um, and trust that he actually is a reptile vet because I know some people can lie and say, yeah, I'm a vet. Um, but I've been talking enough and I need to get to work. I have to go home and put her back and change my clothes and look like a professional. Thanks for watching, um, this other vlog. Thanks for sticking with me. Oh, and I also have been finding more, like, reptile owners on youtube that have like millions of millions of followers and views i don't a lot of them that i found don't have bearded dragons but they're all white so um but even if they all were all black women just like me i don't think that means that i can't put this in there i'm just really annoyed that i didn't find these people when i was like looking for youtube channels um but yeah so i mean i subscribe to all of them and I watched them. And I did, I actually, nope, lie. I did find a black woman, but her last post was like last year or something like that. So I'm just looking for current active people um, to watch and follow and stuff. All right, so we're going home. So thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like, turn on that notification bell so you know what when I post because I'm inconsistent. Um, if, you, if you care, whatever, if you care. Yo, share it with other people. You know, get them views up uh subscribe if you want to see more of piccolo and like comment below if you want to like what what you want to see from me what you want to see from her what you want to see from us um and yeah happy thanksgiving if you celebrate it i understand if you don't that's cool but happy break if you're in school or if you work at a school you got a break so enjoy that